this is Andrea with today's Military Saves action item, saving automatically for college. Before we get started, let me note that while it's great to help your child, first make sure you have an adequate emergency fund and are automatically setting aside for your retirement. Remember, the kids can get low interest loans for college, but no one is offering those for retirement. With that being said, let's look at a couple special accounts used to save and grow funds for education. First, and probably the most popular, is the 529 College Savings Plan. This tax advantage account lets you contribute up to $15,000 per year per student. You can choose amongst different investments, your contributions grow tax-free, and many states offer a tax break for saving in these accounts. If you don't end up using all the money for the chosen beneficiary, it can be transferred to another family member of any age for qualified education expenses. Another savings option is the prepaid tuition plan where you purchase tuition credits at today's cost instead of the potentially much higher cost that would apply when your child starts college. These accounts have less flexibility than the 529 savings accounts, but if purchased when children are young, they could potentially be of greater guaranteed value covering those future costs. While you are saving and growing these funds, don't forget about the post-9-11 GI Bill. In many cases, the benefits are transferable to dependents and can be used in conjunction with either of the accounts I just mentioned. Visit with a personal financial counselor at any installation to get more guidance on your unique situation. If you want help or accountability, head over to militarysaves.org and take the Savers Pledge. When you sign up, you'll receive reminders to help you stay on track with your financial goals. To recap, a 529 college savings plan offers tax-free investment growth and is transferable to other family members. A prepaid tuition plan is paying for college credits at today's rate instead of the future cost. And the post-9-11 GI Bill can be used in conjunction with both. I'm Andy from The Table Financial Planning. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you again next time.